Hi, Miss Daisy. How are you? Good. Okay. Um, so remember how I was telling you about the lesson plan? Yeah. We're going to do it today, okay? Okay. All right. So I need you not to be nervous, okay? Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. That's good. All right. So the lesson plan we're going to do, the name of it is called Structural Analysis for Teaching Other Affixes and Roots. Okay? Okay. So these are the objectives. Across structural analysis, Ilani will be able to divide words into parts in order to recognize the spelling, to recognize the spelling and sound patterns of able, which is A-B-L-E, and Ible, I-B-L-E, and that both morphemes mean capable or worthy of, inclined to, which are added to the root word. Okay? So I just um, yeah, you'll see right now, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna give you some words and um, I'm gonna tell you what to do right now, okay? Are you ready? Yes. All right, okay. Um, now, have you ever seen these words before? Uh, yeah. Okay, no. and can you say, how do you say this word? Visible. Good, and how about this one? Good. And can you tell me what are the difference in their endings? What do you see? Nothing. You don't see nothing? No? Just at the I and then the B. The a. Okay, good. And what comes after the A here? A B. Uh huh. L E. Okay, and how about for this one? B L E. Good. So that's able and ible. Right? Good. Can you think of other words that sound with able and ible? Other words that might have that ending in the end? Other words that you can think about? Invisible. Invisible. Good. That's a good word, friend. I like that word. Okay. Another word? Unseeable. Unseeable? Mm, let's try another one. Can you think of another one? If not, it's okay. I can't. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, capable. Okay. Uh, how about, okay, capable? Capable sounds good. Yeah. I think capable will be um, a little bit better. Okay. And the reason we're learning about these suffixes, the able and the able, is that, um, Understanding when we when we use able and able, it would help you to understand that when you add able or able, it changes the meaning, the sounds, and the pronunciation of the words. And this is gonna um, help us to become better readers, right? Yes. Good, okay. Now, I'm gonna give you some words, okay? All right. Can you move your hands? There you go. Thank you, sweetie. All right. Okay. Now I know you see a lot of words, okay? <laughs> Don't get overwhelmed, okay? It's okay. It's supposed to be a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. It's a lot, right? <laughs> okay. Now, you see all the words? Yes. Take a good look, okay? And then I want you to read along with me, okay? okay. 
Likeable. Likeable. Adaptable. Adaptable. Peaceful. Peace. Peaceable, I mean. Peaceable. Collectible. Collectible. Expressible. Expressible. Edible. Edible. Comparable. Comparable. Inflatable. Inflatable. Suitable. Suitable. Tolerable. Tolerable. Notable. Notable. Believable. Believable. Advisable. Advisable. Laughable. Laughable. Invinci inv invincible. Invincible. Incredible. Incredible. Excitable. Excitable. Sizable. Sizable. Gullible. Gullible. Lovable. Lovable. Excusable. Excusable. Eligible. Eligible. Plausible. Plausible. Audible. Audible. Horrible. Horrible. Tangible. Tangible. Profitable. Profitable. Payable. Payable. Convertible. Convertible. Lovable. Lovable. Acceptable. Acceptable. Terrible. Terrible. Feasible. Uh, feasible. Transferable. Transferable. Suggestible. Suggestible. And suitable. Suitable. Good job, friend. You did a really, really good job. Okay? Now, I want you to carefully look at the words, okay? Okay. And can you categorize them into groups? Like? So look, look at, the, at the words. How would you categorize them? Uh, what makes them different? That they both mean, uh, mean different things. Okay, they do. Good. And how would you categorize them? How uh, would you categorize them? A for an apple. Before. Okay, can you do that for me? And after you're done, I want you to put them in one side. Okay. So one category on one side and the other, maybe to your right. Do I lay them up? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Ooh, I like that, friend. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of words, huh? Yeah. Okay, and can you tell me, um, how did you categorize them? Apple and apple. Wow, friend. And that was a, a, okay. Hmm. So, why can't this one go there? Because it has a face. It's an apple. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So, that I'm going to put this on this side, right? Yeah. Okay. I like the way you categorize, friend. So, you have able and you have able. Yeah. Right? Okay. That sounds really good. Now, I want you to take a good look at your able words, right? Are these your able words? Yeah. Or are these your able these. words? These are your able words, right? Yeah. And I want you to pay close attention, okay? Okay. Now, when we use uh, the suffix able, okay, there's some words that when you add able, 
for example, we can use profitable, okay? Profitable. When we use the word profitable, right? The original word is profit. And we added what? Able. Able. Did it change the spelling of profit? Oh, uh, no. What do you think? Do you think it changed the spelling? If I add the able, do you think this change? Uh, no. No, right? It didn't really change, right? Mm. So that's one way we can add able, right? It doesn't change the what? Uh, the base word. Good. It doesn't change the base word, right? When you add the able, right? Okay, that's one way to see able. Another way that um, able can be used is, for example, if we use a word and we add able, the E can sometimes be dropped. For example, let's use lovable. What change in the word lovable? The A, there's an A and there's not an E. They're a good. So, what was before lovable? What do you think? E. Good. So now it has a what? A. A, right? A and what else? B. Able, right? So now it's lovable, right? So we saw that the able can be used for base words, right? Mm -hmm. That might not change, right? The spelling of it. Now, there's other words that, what did we drop for lovable again? What e. We, e, and what did we add? Able. Right, okay. Now, now that we did able, yeah. now we're gonna go with able, okay? Ooh, let's look at our able words, okay? okay. Take a good look at our able words, okay? Sounds funny. <laughs> I know, able, right? Um, so now with able, we can further divide them, okay? We can further divide them. And um, for example, if you have uh, words like edible and audible, so we have edible, right? And we have audible. You see these two words, right? Mm -hmm. Ible is added to them because they can't stand alone, right? They need ible to function. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's one type of, um, that's a type of way that able is being used. Now, another way that able is used is when um, able is added to base words that are free, okay? For example, as in collectible. Where is collectible? Good, okay? This is another way, okay? For collectible, Okay, collectible. Another word that is also free is expressible. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So on this first on this first set of words, it is used for base words that cannot stand alone. Okay. Now with these, the root words are independent and. Um, they can stand alone, okay? Okay. I mean, they're free and they can stand alone. Now that we've seen able and able, right? I want you to take a further look, okay? okay? And I am gonna need your help, okay? Okay. Now, if we go back to the other ones that we were doing, let me organize this a little bit better. Okay, acceptable. We could put this here. Good. Likeable, advisable, profitable. Good. Sorry, there's a lot of words, huh? <laughs> there you go. Hmm. So we have profitable, right? Mm -hmm. And we have acceptable. Mm -hmm. And then. We had lovable, right? Lovable. And then we had believable, okay? Now, 
I want you to take a really, really good look, okay? Okay. All right. And what was the difference? What are the difference between these set of words and these set of words? Okay. This side is April and this side is April. Right. Oh, that's really good, friend. Now, another thing is, can you identify any patterns in spelling or pronunciation? They have the bl, B L E, and they kind of sound the same at the ending. Good. So notice that these, these last two. Ipo is added to words that have an ending with an S uh -huh, or a T. You notice that? Oh, I kind of see Yeah. It. Do you notice that? <laughs> yes, good. For S and a T, right? And now for Ipo, another way that you can, you can decide is when you add able, they can sometimes end in what? Uh, Do these end in S or a T? No. No. They end in what? Uh, a. Right? No, they a end B. in different. Yeah. So able, sometimes they end in an S or in a T. That's how you know when to add able. Okay? Now. I want you to know that able and able mean capable or worthy of, okay? And that when you add these suffixes, um, they, can, they can cause the root word to become another part of speech. For example, when these suffixes are added to the verbs, they become adjectives, okay? And you've been doing a great job, okay? So now I'm going to give you something to do on your own. See if you can do it. Okay? All right. Let's just put these cards aside. Do I get these cards? Yeah, you can get all of them, sweetie. All right. So I'm going to put this on the side. Okay? All right. Right. Are you ready? Okay. Now, the first word is luff. Okay? Luff. Based on everything you learned, right? Mm -hmm. If I was to tell you, hmm, how can you change love to lovable? What would you choose? Would you choose this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one? What will be the correct answer if I wanted to use lovable, able? So what is your answer, Ilani? Lovable. Lovable. Good job, friend. Now... Let's do another one, okay? okay? The second word is suggest, okay? Can suggest be suggestible, suitable, sizable, or suggestible? If I want suggest to be suggestible with the ible, suggestible. Good job, friend. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Thank you. All right. Do you feel more confident with the able and the able? Yeah. 
Did you think this was kind of hard? Just a little bit. A little bit, huh? A lot of words, but you did a great job, friend. Okay? I'm going to stop the...